Good morning. This is Louise Hay. Let's begin the day together. If it is possible for you to listen to this before you get out of bed, that's the best of all. If not, then please listen as early in the morning as you possibly can. Now make sure that your body is very comfortable. If there are any tension spots in your body that may have come from a difficult dream during the night, just breathe into that area and let it go. Feel how comfortable it is for your body to be where it is. Feel the warmth and the peace and know that today will be a new day such as you have never had before. I know that you have some general plans for the day and you know what some of the experiences will be but not all of them. When we awaken in the morning, we never know exactly how the day will end. Delightful surprises and wonderful adventures are before us. All of your thoughts create your future. Every thought you think is creating your future. Now it really doesn't matter what sort of thoughts you used to think in the past in all those mornings you awakened to before. The only thing that matters is the kind of thoughts that you are choosing to think now in this very moment. Together now, let's release from our consciousness all fear and anxiety, all anger and resentment, all guilt and the need for punishment. Let's dissolve all sadness and jealousy. Just let it go. Those are not the thoughts we are going to use to create this new day. This is a new day and a new beginning. Feel the air as it goes in and out of your body. It's such a miracle the way your body breathes itself. The air comes into the lungs, then it is sent over to the heart where it mingles with the blood. And this oxygenated blood is circulated throughout your body, through all the veins and arteries, down to the tiniest little capillaries, bathing and soaking and nourishing every cell in your body. You don't even have to think about how to do this. There is an intelligence within your body that takes care of it for you. It breathes your body, it beats your heart, it digests your food. This intelligence enables you to see, to walk, to hold things, to communicate with others, and to love. There are so many things in our lives that we take for granted. We so seldom take time out to be thankful and grateful 
for the many miracles we have in our everyday lives and for the miracles that we call our bodies. Too often, we only concentrate on what we do not have. It blesses our future to be thankful for what we do have now. It opens the way for the good to flow in, in ever-increasing abundance. Let us begin with appreciating the very bed we have slept in all night. Think of how warm and comfortable it has kept your body while you slept and did your dream work and refreshed your mind and your body. Thank your bed. Then bless the furniture in your home that comforts your body and fulfills various necessary functions and conveniences. We all have a favorite piece of furniture. Have you ever thanked it for being there for you? Do that now. Then think of the miracle of the electric light in your home. How wonderful it is to have it. Think of all the things that you can use electricity for. Remember, our appliances are extensions of ourselves, and just as our relationships with other people are more wonderful when we are loving, so it is with the relationships we have with what we call things. Appliances and automobiles do not break down when we are in good space. So mentally thank your refrigerator for being there, for keeping your food fresh for you. Thank your stove for helping you cook all those meals. Now what else do you have in your kitchen that you can bless with love? Do that now. Now think of that modern miracle called your bathroom. Even kings and queens were not able to experience the conveniences we take for granted only a century ago. So bless the plumbing system that so easily and simply removes the waste products. The hot and cold water that is so readily available to us when we just turn a small knob. The convenience of being able to bathe our bodies whenever we desire. These are all miracles. Bless the radio you listen to and the television that entertains you. Let us be grateful for the telephone that brings us love and communications with people everywhere. Bless your mailbox and the postal service that helps us communicate with people all over this planet called Earth in just a few days' time. It's a miracle that we take for granted. Let us be thankful for the air that we breathe, which is so precious to us and we take so for granted. When we exhale, we don't even think about where our next breath is coming from. Yet this incredible power that has created us has given us enough breath to last for as long as we shall live. Let us be thankful for the sunshine and the rain. Without the rain, the vegetation would die and we would have a barren planet without beauty or food. Let us be thankful for the wind that clears the skies 
and the beauty of the moonlight. Bless the vegetation that feeds and nourishes you. Whenever I eat, I bless the food with love, and I thank it for giving its life to nourish me. Now think of the clothing you wear. Think of the infinite choices we have of colors and fabrics to adorn and comfort our bodies. If it is hot, we can choose light, cool clothing. If it is cold, we can choose warm, cozy fabrics to comfort us. Think of the miracle called walking. How wonderful it is to be able to get up and to move to another place by walking. Thank your feet for taking you so many places in the world. Then look at all the other forms of transportation we have to choose from. And be thankful for. There are roller skates and skateboards and bicycles and buses and trucks and automobiles and trains and aeroplanes and ships that sail upon the waters. We have our choice and we take them so for granted. How often have you been angry when your automobile did not perform perfectly? Bless your car with love and be aware of the miracle it is to be able to get into this comfortable piece of machinery that moves you about this planet. With very few manipulations, we move forward to our destination. It's one of our daily miracles. The next time your plane is delayed, Release the tendency to be angry. Instead, acknowledge the incredible ability to be able to get into a little metal tube that rises up in the sky and swiftly takes us to another place on this planet. It is one of our safest forms of transportation. And planes need love just as we do. Let your mind go over the various relationships you have in your life. Bless them all with love and be thankful for them. They are all your teachers. I know you have special things in your life that you are thankful for. So take a moment to let your mind gently and lovingly move throughout your life, past or present, giving thanks for places, people, or experiences that either have been or are now in your life. It's such a wonderful feeling to be thankful. It prepares and opens the way for more good to come into our lives. There is a power and a presence that resides within us that is always there to lead us and to guide us and make smooth and easy our way. All we need to do is to acknowledge this and to allow it to work for us. Too often when we awaken in the morning, we leap out of bed and try to push our way through life, controlling everything in sight. But that's not how this power works. It's like trying to control your breathing 
or your heartbeat or your digestion. If you try, all you do is interfere and upset the natural rhythm and flow of your bodily processes. The best thing we can do for our body is to feed it natural foods and beverages, to exercise it in ways that are a pleasure to us, and to allow the intelligence in the body to take care of all the rest. So it is with our lives. We think positive, loving thoughts. We forgive others. We are kind to ourselves mentally. And then we allow the intelligence of the universe to take over and create that which is for our highest good and greatest joy. This way, the process works smoothly. The power that created us has given us the power to create our lives, the power and choice of the thoughts we think. We have infinite choice of that which we can choose to think. These choices create our future. If we choose hurt and anger and resentment, then we will just create more hurt and anger and resentment. If we want love, we must think loving thoughts. If we want joy, we must think joy. If we want to experience peace and calm, then we must think peaceful thoughts. If we want prosperity, then we must open ourselves to it mentally. If we want to flow creatively, then we must acknowledge our ability. Say this with me mentally. I am an open channel for divine ideas to flow through me and the creativity of the universe now expresses through me. That which I need to know is revealed to me, and whatever I need comes to me. I am divinely protected and guided, and my way is made smooth and easy. One of the things that creates so many problems for us is thoughts of anger and resentment and blame. So let us take a moment before we actively begin our day to consciously dissolve that from within our mind. Please join me in saying, I release all need for anger or resentment or blame. I truly forgive all those that need forgiving. And I forgive myself. I look forward to this day with love and peace and joy and anticipation of abundant good in every area. Wherever you are going today, send love ahead to that place. If you are going shopping, then send love ahead of you to the market or the store, to the building itself, to all the merchandise in it, to all the people, to the customers, to the employees and the owners. Know that you will be guided to make the perfect selections that will benefit you the most. And both you and the store 
will be blessed and prospered. Do the same thing if you're going to have something repaired or if you are going to see a lawyer or a doctor or a dentist. If you are going to work this morning, then do the same thing. Send love ahead of you to your place of business, to the building, to the people you work with and the people you work for, to the furniture and equipment that you use, and to anything else you will come in contact with. Let us declare together that this is a healthy, harmonious, loving, prosperous, and creative day for you. That it is filled with joy. That you welcome change and adventure. That you bring new experiences and new people into your life. If there is anyone that you expect to meet today that irritates you in any way, just bless them with love. Bless them with love, and the love that you send to them will return to you multiplied, and you will benefit in ways you cannot even imagine. Whatever we give out, returns to us. As you go through this day, say over and over to yourself, two or three hundred times is barely enough. I approve of myself. I approve of myself. Say it with me right now aloud. I approve of myself. I approve of myself. I am worth loving. I am willing to change and learn a new way of expressing and experiencing life. I now begin to accept myself exactly as I am. I approve of myself. I approve of myself. Let this day be filled with love for you. Let this day be peaceful and calm. Let this day bring new insights, new understandings. Let this day bring unexpected prosperity. Let this be a day of great joy. This is your day. This is a good day. It is a new day. This is one of the best days you have ever had. This is a new beginning. Go forth and enjoy all that there is. I love you, and we will be together again tonight to close the day. Take some nice deep breaths now. Feel the energy filling your body. Open your eyes. Stretch. Get up. Go forth and enjoy it all.